Northwest Outdoorsman is presented by WorkSharp. This week on the Northwest Outdoorsman. That is a little kokanee. All right. We're fishing Odell Lake in Southwest Oregon. There you go. The Northwest Outdoorsman presented by WorkSharp is brought to you by Max Lure. Explore the Dalles. Procure Bait Sense. Valley Marine. Good Day Fishing. Leavenworth Coffee Roasters. Kokanee fishing can be fast and furious in many Northwest lakes with large populations of these tasty fish. Odell Lake in Southwest Oregon is known for great kokanee fishing and generous 25 fish limits. The guys from Work Sharp and Max Lure join Rich Herod for a promising fishing adventure. Opening day on Odell has some surprises, but not necessarily as expected. The mornings are cold and apparently so is the fishing. I've heard people talk about Lake Odell for a long time, and that's a place that I really wanted to kokanee fish. I got a problem, don't I? <laughs> I got in a hold of Josh Warren over at WorkSharp, and he was gonna bring a couple guys from the shop and meet me up there for a fishing trip. Before 10 a.m., before we get some wind. Fighting frigid fingers. Never fished Odell Lake, and it's so close to home. I think we're just under three hours to get to the lake. Never been to Odell Lake. I didn't really know about it, to be honest. I mean, I had tried to get a camping trip out here oh, last fall, I guess. <laughs> we're trying. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they weren't biting when we first got out there, that's for sure. We were trying to do some jigging for them. Um, we were on them. It seemed like we were looking, going over schools and jigging right in them, but they weren't, weren't biting. Now we're marking some under us at 20, 15 to 20. Change up the menu. We trolled a couple downriggers and a couple weighted lines out the back. How, how far do you want these out, Rick? I'm gonna wake them up a little bit down there. Yeah, the last I checked, we're looking for 120 still. Yeah, uh, yeah, I was just thinking, we're not getting very we're much cooking any cracks. <laughs> 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 Is there too much with I don't know if there's such a thing. I wouldn't say one way or another necessarily. I'm not admitting to anything. <laughs> and I open up the bail, keep your thumb on that. 25. And then reel down completely new to me, all of it. I mean, we were just basics as could be back when I was a kid, so there was some really cool, the downriggers were fun to learn. Oh. A few schools in there, they just didn't want to take what we had, I guess. Yeah, I hooked a little one. Little guy. Board. I better give this to Joey to hold here. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys kept saying, hey, is he on? I was like, I don't know. Feels feels something going on down there. <laughs> you got, you got right, go tell your buddies, dude. <laughs> yeah, it was my first coconut. It was more of a minnow than a coconut, but it was my first fit. Pink skirt, and I think that was on the uh this orange one. I actually had one of these. Did you? Yeah. yeah. I saw some big schools, and so we, uh, you know, either, well, we trolled through them a couple times. Man, we were adjusting these downriggers a lot. Forecast had called for a pretty windy day, and then when it started coming up, I began to really struggle with the boat. Drag of it popped up, and uh, I went to set the hook, and I had, to, had the drag really loose. Yeah, you might be there a while. Take a long turn. <laughs> <laughs> Big monster on the end of that thing. Coming up after the break. There you go. Nice Holy cow! Nice job. Yeah. 
feel a little fishy this morning. Oh. The Northwest Outdoorsman, presented by WorkSharp, is brought to you by Max Lure. Explore the Dalles. Procure Bait Sense. Valley Marine. Good Day Fishing. Leavenworth Coffee Roasters. Welcome back. Joey is hooked up to something big. Drag of it popped up and uh, I went to set the hook and I had, had the drag really loose and just spooled mine off of me. Yeah, yeah you might be there a while. Take a long turn. More than 30 year old gold. <laughs> Big monster on the end of that progress? thing. <laughs> He's doing a lot. He's doing a lot of stuff. You're making it look real hard. <laughs> That's a big fish. There you go. Nice fish. Holy cow. Look at that oh. thing. There's a laker. Oh. Nice job. Woo! Nice, Joey. Dude! Nice work. Yeah, buddy. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Finally, we got one lake trout on the downrigger. And uh, Joey got that again, same side of the boat. I'm not bitter, but uh, <laughs> he was hooked pretty good, though, too. I don't think he was going to get off of there. Woohoo! Nice, man. Yeah. <laughs> Careful, he's gonna eat that little kokanee. <laughs> it was the biggest blade trout I've ever seen in person. You know, it was probably eight, 10 pounds, but it was a fish in the boat. Ready for fish, go. This moves, you get it. I got that one. It seemed like everybody kind of shifted the trolling at the same time too. We were going by boats and nobody's bringing fish in. Trolling was tough that day. We were fighting the wind. Oh, you just, I thought you had something to hit that thing. It was at the south side of the lake there. There's a little bit of a, a cove. I kind of made a couple of passes out of the wind and then just started trying to cast and trout fish and we had some sort of fish in the boat. Come on, fish. Beautiful lake. Man. Odell Lake's got a nice little setting there, and it's almost like a cove. The wind was whipping. You could see it out there on the lake. It looked like a river. Nice telling stories. You know, that's the thing, again, I enjoyed about just laughing at one another. Figured out if we wanted to get back out there, and the only fish we caught was on the troll. And if you can't troll because of the wind, then it really felt like it wasn't worth being out there. Oh, you guys make the best food. You know, I was like, I couldn't stop eating. And it's just, you know, it's just good people. It's, you know, we had a good time. And... <laughs> Woo! It got cold last night. The windows are in a little better shape than yesterday, though. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Always ready. <laughs> it's feeling a little fishy this morning. Oh, it was beautiful. The sunrise was just amazing. The water was flat. It was a completely different day. Yeah. They probably can if you don't have seven people in the boat. Put them all in the boat. Look at all them huddled together right there. <laughs> <laughs> Less boats. That looks like the one right there. Fishy, fishy. It was a chilly morning, but I, th I think we all had a lot of hope for uh, maybe the pressure system changing and maybe the fish being a little bit more hungry. You know, I really wanted Josh and Kyle to catch a kokanee because they've never fished for him before. So I was working really hard to position the boat and get the right gear in the right spot. Come on, fishy.
two different fish jumping yeah. right there. Right there? Yeah, you think? Nice cast. Oh. There you go. Coming up after the break. Rope me on the deck. Yeah, baby. Yeah, uh -huh. there we go. Oh, no. This is Joey. <laughs> I think he's giving a the Northwest Outdoorsman presented by WorkSharp is brought to you by Max Lure, Explore the Dalles, Procure Bait Sense, Valley Marine, Good Day Fishing, Leavenworth Coffee Roasters. Welcome back to beautiful Odell Lake. You know, I really wanted Josh and Kyle to catch a kokanee because they've never fished for him before. So I was working really hard to position the boat and get the right gear in the right spot. Yeah, oh, did you? you mm -hmm. Oh, right on. Come on, baby. Come on, fishy. Two different fish jumping yeah. right there. Right there? Yeah, you think? Nice cast. You know, they're jumping all over the place, and so one jumped, and I threw my lure right at the, the little pool where, was, where he jumped. And... Oh! There you go. Nice work. Yeah, baby. Yeah, there we go. Stinks off. <laughs> nice so opening on the deck. Joey gets on that sonic bait fish because you can see him jumping. He throws it right on it, hits it, and then that hits him. And so reel that in. Now we're like, that was like a shot in the arm. Yep, they're jumping over there, Josh. Yeah, there's three of them just jump right there. Targeted him. Yeah. Brought him right in. Whatever works is right. Man, I'll tell you, when we got that first fish, I was so relieved. Seriously feels like bass fishing now. A little bit, doesn't it? There he is, right in there. Oh, right there. Hit it. He just jumped right past it. Oh, oh, missed him right there. What happened? I missed him. Yeah, still haven't caught a kokanee. There's a swirling up over there too. We're excited, man. There's there's still fish jumping around, and so we start we start targeting these kokanee off of the jump and uh, and seeing if we can pull anything in. I'm ready. Now's the time. Jesus, Joey. <laughs> nice work, man. He ain't happy. Bring him in. Good man. All right, come on, little guy. Well, looks like I'm switching to the eye of the tiger, too. Yeah. You got it like that, too? Yeah. yeah three, all three. And it was a little nicer, yeah. uh, it was about 12 inch one. And so we all started doing that, and then pretty soon all the boats started doing it. Just gave it a quick little tug. Yeah, my spirit drops a little bit. Uh, I don't think it hit it, but it was right on it. So we had two fairly back to back, but pretty soon after that, man, we uh, we were still having fun casting for them, but with nothing else. Those first two that I got all the way to the boat were, you know, you could hear my drag reel. Uh, I have it on video. Yeah, that's cool. Scoops up the bird or the fish and flies off. Surrounded. I think he's, they got one. Ah. Almost, huh? Yeah. Going after him. They're a little elusive. <laughs> yeah, it was like it came on and then, you know, we kept doing the same thing, but uh, evidently they decided they didn't like that anymore. Oh, no, you no. got twisted. You got twisted. We're all marking fish around here, obviously, but there's not that many being brought in.
fish that for a while and eventually after a couple hours we gave it a good shot, decided to do some more trolling. We're there. Nice calm day though. That was one thing that was really cool was looking around and just that calm and the sun coming up on the on the mountains there. Oh, just gorgeous. Coming up after the break. Laker. Dang, that's a nice one, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Northwest Outdoorsman, presented by WorkSharp, is brought to you by Max Lure. Explore the Dalles. Procure Bait Sense. Valley Marine. Good Day Fishing. Leavenworth Coffee Roasters. Welcome back. It's Kyle's turn for some fishing action. Eventually, after a couple hours, we gave it a good shot, decided to do some more trolling. We're there. Back to trolling. I think we had four different setups going on on the troll just to try and feed them something they were looking for. Ready for fish. Huh? Ready for fish. Go. Everything's been pretty tr untraditional this yeah, weekend. That's this for week. sure. <laughs> oh, 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 now. You like good fish? Yeah. I think he's giving a good little base. Oh, I'm gonna take one step in towards the motor and I'll come in with a the net there. Come towards me, Kyle. Okay. Right <clears throat> what is this thing? Yeah, maybe you got a liquor. Start doing the Joey thing here. Yeah. I think you're reeling in a salmon. It is. Just go any far. Oh my gosh, that net's cool. Yeah, it's not big. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice work. Yep, I'm the one that picked the pull up. Nice work. <laughs> <in here. laughs> Don't let it down too quick. Okay. Yeah, let no let tension off. Yeah. You're keep close it to tight. Feet. Yep. Yeah. yeah, just keep reeling yep. now. Keep that tension on him. Nice fish. Whoa. Laker. Oh, right there. Big Laker. Step back. Step back. Nice. Laker Stop. off the platform. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dang, that's a nice one, man. Nice, nice work. Yeah, buddy. Nice yeah, look at that. Fish on. That's like the kin to the one I caught yesterday. It was cool seeing that big fish come out of the water right at the boat. And yeah, man. <laughs> Off the of top water, that's crazy. Easy big guy. Fun reeling in a big fish on a little rod. I wouldn't know personally, but uh, but I take Kyle's word for it. Uh, yeah, what in the world? Yeah, how about that? That guy. Nice yeah. one. Yeah, buddy. Nice. nice fish. Worth coming back out for. Yeah, buddy. Right. <laughs> First lake trout, so that was exciting. That's easily the biggest fish I pulled out of a lake, so that was exciting. They're awesome. Yeah, but like Joey said, it's just like this dead thing on the end of the. <laughs> It's just, it's just all around fun, you know. I'm, I'm glad we came for sure. You know, out in God's country, watching the sunrise, something about it that you can't quite put a finger on until you experience it, you know. Had a great time, good guys, you know, always a blast coming out here and fell in love with the area really quick. This is something special out here. I really hope I get to fish this lake again sometime. It was just beautiful there. It's now time for another Harrods Cookhouse recipe brought to you by Miklich, the Spokane Spice Company since 1948. Today we are making spinach feta stuffed kokanee. 
Start by placing cream cheese, chopped walnuts, frozen spinach thawed and drained, juice from half a lemon, a pinch of salt, and Harrods Cookhouse lemon and dill fish seasoning into a bowl. Stir ingredients together, then add feta cheese, and stir some more. Set stuffing aside and with a very sharp knife, cut kokanee fillets into steaks. Make a small cut in the center of the kokanee steak and stuff the spinach mixture in. Drizzle olive oil and add more seasoning. Grill until fish flakes and serve with your favorite side. For this and other great fish and wild game recipes, visit the Herod Outdoors website and YouTube channel. I, yeah, I, love, I love being outside and uh, that takes a lot of shape. I'm no professional when it comes to you know, angling or, or hunting even, I enjoy it, but, uh, but I like a little bit of everything, more of like a generalist if you will.